Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in again, and I think I'm just going to do a cane run here. I'm just feeling a nice, simple cane run. Why is my mouse on the screen? I'm not I'm feeling a nice, simple cane run. We'll go straight into a cash room, see what we get here. Um, Psy Hunter, why not? And yeah, I guess we'll grab that as well. And we'll see what we can get going on here. Oh, that was actually a pretty quick and good kill against that guy. Uh, now, obviously, some of you may have seen uh, in the previous episode that I did do a little a little test with changing up my thumbnail style to um, the Lazy Matman sort of style that a lot of different Isaac YouTubers use, just because those seem to perform really well on YouTube, and I wanted to see if it made a difference, and it did. It did. It definitely got more views um, than my regular episodes, and... Um, apparently it seemed to bring in some new people as well. So, uh, but, but I will admit, um, and as some of you in the comments have sort of said, they're not the most, pe like, they don't have the most personality compared to the regular thumbnails that I do. But I think the problem with my other thumbnails is they're just a little bit too busy and there's a little bit too much going on. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try and find a nice middle ground between the two. I really don't want to just do the sort of really basic thumbnails uh, because they're just not my favorite. And I know that some of you guys don't like them either, um, even if they do attract more views. But at the same time, my current thumbnails clearly aren't really doing it for me. Um, in terms of attracting new viewers, at least. Obviously, you guys like them, but the main the main goal is to bring in new viewers. And um, they're, they're just not bringing in new viewers, really. I, I don't gain a lot of subs on those. Also, this Psy Hunter guy is fucking amazing. Um, so, it is a bit of a shame um, with that. So, that's why I'm trying new things. That's why I'm, I'm just sort of testing the waters and seeing what I can do. And I think because of that, I, I, I want to try and find a nice, like I said, middle ground sort of between the two here. Uh, Blue Baby's only friend isn't ideal for us here, but we'll give it a go. Uh, I want to try and find a nice middle ground between the two and try and interject some of my own personality and, and sort of my Isaac Turtle Melon character thumbnails that I used previously. But maybe I'll remove the, the Binding of Isaac logo and I'll keep the background a little more basic and easy to sort of read. Um, and I'll sort of turn it back a little bit with some of the text and stuff in terms of the, the theming of it. it. Which, like I said, it's a bit of a shame, but I, I, I've kind of got to chase what works on YouTube um, to sort of try and grow my channel a little bit. And I would really like to, although I'm not, like, view obsessed, I would really like to see my channel um, grow a little bit, especially when there is still, like, because I kind of think, I kind of always thought to myself, oh, well, there's not, like, there's not as many people watching Isaac nowadays, that's why my channel's not, like, not as big, but actually, if you go out and look at some of the bigger Isaac YouTubers, there's still a, a massive market for Isaac content, so I really should be trying, um, trying my best to find ways to bring in those people that are watching it. Um, Huts and obviously Mattman are kind of the, the, the two uh, that come to mind in terms of bigger Isaac YouTubers that are still doing it. Um, so it, it's kind of one of those situations, that was a really bad hit there, my bad. Um, it's kind of one of those situations where I just, I've got to sort of try something new. Um, to try and just, just, just see, te sort of test the waters and see what we can figure out for ourselves. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be messing around my thumbnails. So this one might be slightly different than last episode's. Very good item there. Yeah, this one might be slightly different than last episode's. Um, and it might after this one, it might be slightly different until I kind of find my own groove. Find a nice balance between some of my own YouTube personality of, of my sort of thumbnails and sort of sticking on the theme of, of what I typically do. Um, and also a nice interjection of some more some more basic and easy to read thumbnails um because i think that the the serialized thumbnails where like you can tell it's part of a long-running series i think in in general in you like just in the space of youtube they are just off-putting nowadays um i think that in in the days of youtube shorts dominating and and sh long form content not being as popular um you don't want to look like this series is has a thousand parts because then people what aren't going to click on your video because they're like, oh, well, I don't want to start halfway through a series or like a thousand parts in sort of thing. I'd rather start from the beginning, but then that's a too big of a commitment for people to watch all the parts. And so they just end up not bothering. Um, and it means that you don't attract as many new viewers as you plausibly could. So I'm just going to try some new things out and see how it does. And uh, for for those of you that are new here, um, based off of the thumbnail changes that I've made and haven't seen my channel before, welcome, welcome. I do encourage you to go back and take a look at some of my other videos if you'd like to. But um, 
we just we just play Isaac every other day. That's that's what this channel is. Uh, we do some other games as well, but we play a good amount of Isaac. We play a good amount of Isaac. Um, if I can get an extra penny, I can buy Greg the egg, which I'd very much enjoy to do. Yeah, dude, we are getting Muller right now. Top tier money. It's a pretty decent run so far. I do like George. George is pretty good. But yeah, Greg the Egg, he is a nice chap. Um, he will bimble about the room for us and eventually hatch into a boy. He'll also drop us some random consumables on occasion. Um, he's kind of like Sack of Sacks sort of thing. Um, or Mystery Sack, should I say, is, is sort of more accurate. Try and take care of the little one, shall we? We've got Blue Baby's only friend here that'll help us do that. Nice. And then Finger plus Tears, I think, is probably better than um, Blue Baby's only friend in terms of single target here. When it's a little easier to attack. There you go. We get to gulp our trinket. That's rather nice. I don't think we have any trinkets left on this floor, though, do we? And um, we get a range up there. Um, Devil Deal, I'll at least check out. Ooh, we got Tony. Oh, actually, we can take Dark Prince's crown and get it activated here. Damn, I didn't. I thought one of you died. Dark Prince's crown and it being active is pretty goddamn amazing, so I'll take that. Especially the fire rate increase. Plus two fire rate is, is pretty huge, so we'll, we'll try and keep this active. I won't guarantee that it'll stay active, but we'll try and keep it active throughout the run. Um, we got a golden version of this trinket, which I don't actually know if that has a golden effect, to be honest, but I'll certainly take it for the next floor. The double moon. We got good old Dumpy's back in the mix here. Good old Dumpy's back in the mix. Psyhorse. Ooh, that was a kind of a close one. I would have liked to got Tony and uh, and George at the same time. Could have got Aubrey in the mix too. Have all three of the uh, of the masks. Ooh, thank you. Converts all rocks, poops in the room into pennies. Um, pennies spawn this way, disappear after some time. Rocks and poops. Okay, so we just want to find a room that is absolutely chock-a-block with rocks. Doesn't matter if there's enemies in the room or not, but we prefer there not to be. Yeah, I think I think just I'm I'm fairly happy with how YouTube is going. I mean, I'm getting decent views and stuff. I just I think it's worth experimenting and trying new things. And if we find it doesn't work, or if if, if it's really not working and people are really hating it and I'm losing subs off the back of it or losing views off the back of it, then I can always return back to normal. It's just nice to try something new and and sort of see test the water see what's out there for us also i didn't do a question of the day in terms of question of the day um that that would just be sort of a question on this topic what, what, what do you guys think about sort of youtube thumbnails uh, have some of you have given your comments already on the thumbnails that i that i used in the last episode um but i'm just sort of generally curious does does the thumbnail actually matter to you or is it more about what the create like who the creator you've subscribed to is i think Thumbnail's one of those things where once you've already subscribed, most of the time, the thumbnail doesn't really matter. It, um, it might a little bit, um, depending on like what items in the thumbnail or something, uh, but for the most part, I think it doesn't really matter. It's more about how it attracts you to watch a channel you haven't watched before. I'm just getting a nice speed up there. We've got a lot of speed right now. Double fish oil right now is kind of interesting. Ooh, hello. We got ourselves our George red room. Oh, hell yes, George. Hell yes, George. You are beautiful. No matter what you say. Now, my damage is susceptive right now because it looks like I've got quite a lot, but my, my tier size has been doubled. Ooh, we got the charging glove here. That's kind of nice. Um, I actually quite like the charging glove here. It can be pretty good. Still yet to find our Queen of Diamonds room. I'm kind of waiting for a room that's basically all rocks or uh, like a double size room would be good too. But I do like these runs as KM where you can just kind of zippity zoom, speed around. And I was kind of hoping for a run like this as well, to be honest, because I was kind of hoping for a run that's kind of a little bit background noise while we while we chat sort of thing, while I, I, I air some of the things off of my chest kind of thing. Um... Yeah, YouTube's, it's an interesting beast. It's an interesting beast. You've really got to play the game if you want to sort of consistently do well. Ooh, a golden penny as well. Hello, hello. Right before the shop, don't mind if I do. Pop, pop. I think I'll take that as well. And I error roomed my bad. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I did get knockout drops though. I'm not, I'm not actually too disappointed anymore. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. We've got the knockout drops, plus pop pop, plus the fist. That's that's pretty funny. So we do miss out on a potential devil deal. Um, spawn a glitched item. Oh, hello. 13 of stars. What we got going on here? Grant's Book of Judges on clearing a room spawns a pillar, feather, and then deals zero damage. Great. Convert all grid objects in the room into Pesci tier. Spawns a... On clearing a room. So basically, after we clear a room, all of the grid objects get deleted. I'm kind of interested in that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and see how it goes. Whoa. The hell? Okay. Kind of wasn't expecting whatever happened there. I think it was slightly lying to us about the effects of this. Shot. Full health. I'm drowsy. Experimental pill. Grab that back. Oh, we, we can't grab cards anymore? For some reason? I'm not entirely sure why we can't grab cards anymore. Okay, we can't grab anything anymore. So, may have, may have bricked this run slightly. Oops. Anyway. Hmm. Okay, we can't shoot. We can't get down here. Um. I'm gonna rewind because that literally bricked everything. Okay. I'm gonna still go to the error room because I made that mistake. It was my bad. But, uh, actually, I am gonna use the card again and see if it gives us a different item this time because it might. I don't know if it's hard coded which item it gives you in terms of glitched items. We'll see. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Keep for that. Yeah, we'll see if it gives us the same item again. It doesn't. Silly. Okay, interesting. Right. Okay. So, 1.5 Black Arts grants Book of Illusions. Hitting enemy has a 5% chance to grant Gotcha Go for the room and then convert all cards in the room to burn tears, uh, then use the coloring book. Sounds interesting. Okay, it did the same thing again, but this time we didn't lose the ability to shoot at least. So, that's good. I'm testing after every single uh, thing I pick up that I can still shoot. Health up still works. Tears up. Full health. Bunch of full health. Okay. Weird, but there we go. What an interesting little room that was. Unfortunately, our Dark Princess Crown has been deactivated now, so we do have to devil deal it up to try and reactivate that, and we have to get rid of quite a number of hearts. We have a few burn hearts sitting here. I'm liking you pooping out pills, my guy. That is something that I will never dispute. A knockout drops plus the fist is fun here. Plus a black heart. Eh, I'm not so bothered about that right now. I think this is actually a good enough room to use our, um, our queen in. Just because these all these are very, very close together. We've got enough time to grab the majority. Yeah, I think that, I think that was pretty decent, actually. We probably There's probably a few rooms we could have been better on, but I'd rather have my coins early and free up my card slot rather than perpetually holding it. Mom's turn, I don't think so. We did get two broken hearts as well. Yeah, something was weird with the description of that item, so I don't actually know if it's going to have done many of the things that it told us it was going to do, so we're going to have to sort of wait and see. Did lose one of my burn hearts, but that's kind of a good thing. Ow. Bash that guy into myself. Refill that burn heart real quick. Fill out, buddy. Temperance? Temperance is potentially good. Can I activate Dark Prince's crown off of Temperance? Yes, I can, baby. Yes, I can. I didn't know I could. I thought I had to have the amount of heart containers, not just specifically have one filled heart. Good stuff. We've got good luck as well right now, so we're, we're procking a lot of um, of knockout drops, which is really nice. I like it. When we fire our fists, we immediately fire pop pop straight after. Lovely stuff. A few nickels there. 
Okay, this is a good run. This is a mighty good run. Unfortunately, we could end up error rooming again here, so I'm going to go to my boss first. Just because we can't see the mini-map, so we don't know if uh, a room's going to lead to an error room or not. Normally, you can tell by the if the mini-map... Uh, if the room appears on the mini-map when it's generated. If it doesn't, then it's an error room. Good, good. And then we've got the swords, which I very much like, and I think will put us at one heart. Yes, it will. Spike collar. Razor blade activates instead of taking damage. Um, 1.2 damage up for the current room. The first damage taken in the room will always be for a full heart. Can't block damage from spikes. So does that mean I always get hit on my red heart first? Sounds kind of good, but I'm not going to take it. Just just because I don't understand it <laughs> right now. I'd rather I'd rather not mess with something. If I didn't have my crown, I think I'd take it. But I think with this crown, I'd rather have the crown working for us um, in a decent way. But I don't know where, where I have and haven't been here, so forgive me for uh, my horrible, horrible backtracking. Hey, Johnny's knives are doing their thing now as well. You can grab that. Johnny's knives are very, very fun. I like them quite a lot. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Why do you have to spawn another one? Why do they have to fall so incredibly slowly? All right, so we've got this bad boy. Again, remember that we, uh, we're we going to miss out on some error rooms here. Thank you for opening the thingy chest for me. What we've got in terms of trinkets here. Automatically unlocks the door, so the downpour mines mausoleum. At... Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that idea. I'm not really sure what the sprite's meant to be, I'll be honest. <laughs> All right, before we go to our red rooms, let's go into our actual, like, shop and stuff. Polaris. Polaris is good, right? Do we, do we fire knockout drop tiers still with this? I can't remember which, what each mode does. Um, I think I'm going to take Polaris. I think it's pretty good. Right, we can start going through these now and see where they lead. Beautiful stuff. Ooh, a bet. Not that I need the bed, but thank you. I, I think I am still seeing knockout drops of uh, procs here, so, to be fair. They're just not visually there, but they are actually there. Foiled heart. We like it. Some dippy dippies to help us out. Right. We speed our way back. Love having all the speed. I realize there's some thingy rocks there, but I've got quite a lot of money and not much extra time to spend it, so I'm not going to worry about them too much. Oopsie. I think it's this way? Yes, there you go. All right, away we go. So we could have unlocked that door automatically with that trinket, but obviously we have the bombs to do it normally, and we don't actually want to go that way, but we could. Yeah, like... I think in terms of like how I'm going to sort of mix the style of thumbnails is I think I'm going to go for a simpler background, slightly simpler text, and then I'm going to put less items in the thumbnail. Basically, I, my, my thoughts behind that also, what on earth is actually going on here? I'm, I'm a bit confused. Oh, that's what's going on. Uh, my thoughts behind it is I think maybe I'm giving away too much in the thumbnails. Um, so people are basically seeing what happened in the run based on the items in the thumbnail and going, eh, I, don't, I, I don't care about that. I'm not going to watch it. But, like, rather than just clicking on it and seeing sort of things, I think reducing the amount of items in the thumbnail will, will help increase engagement of new people. Um, because they'll be like, oh, I haven't seen that before. Or um, they'll be like, oh, new item that not, I've not seen. Oh, is that a crash? Luckily, we're very near the early starts of this floor here, so a crash isn't all that bad. Uh, but I'll be right back. Can you pause recording? Would you like to pause? Come on, pause. We are back, but not, not where I thought we'd be back. 
We're back in this room. Which means that the game is saving mid-floor now, which is quite nice. Wait, is this the last floor? No. No, this is the floor I was just on. Either way, we're back. We'll try our best to, to keep this going. You need to chill yourself, my guy. Thank you for the penny. Good. Okay, so this is the room we crashed on last time, so... Yeah, so it's, it's, it's saving the game midway through, although maybe my map was just bugged there. Either way, I like the fact that the game seems to be saving midway through runs now. I've been asking for that for fucking ages. Seems to be finally here, which is very, very nice. Take the arrows. Hey, Polaris is leveled the hell up right now. We, are, we have some chonky, chonky shots. I'll look Penny in there too. And a verp into... How do we verp a pill that we hadn't identified? What the hell? Double range up, why not? A lot of arrows. It seems to be firing automatically. I don't know why. Yeah. Get out of here, you. The map is balked right now. What is going on with the mini map? <laughs> why does it keep disappearing periodically? What's happening? Something's very wrong with it. It's 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 completely incorrect. Trying to keep my Polaris level high here. It's good. I think once we get to the next floor, it should mostly correct itself. But for right now, it's having it's having some struggles. I don't think we actually need the XP for the Polaris now that it's, I think, max rank. Level 3 is max for Polaris, right? Feel good. Mr. Grabby. I don't know if I much fancy Mr. Grabby, to be honest. He's a bit of a nuisance. He's, he's, kind, of, he's kind of interesting, but he's a bit of a nuisance. Oh, we've got double red rooms here. The arrows are doing a bang-up job. They fire automatically for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But they do a bloody good amount of damage. See, that just ended that room instantly. Yeah, this is very confusing. I have absolutely no idea where I am or where I'm intended to be going. I think this is the right way. Ooh, there you go. Gimme, gimme. Blood bombs, not bad. Oh, but my Dark Prince's crown, I forgot about you. I'm stupid. I mean, to be fair, I actually more, more so forgot that, um, that that would give me a heart. Ah, oh, there's my level down. Damn it. Although Mystery Egg did give us a, a Brimstone Boy, which we cannot, we cannot say is bad. Oh damn! Brimstone kind of got a bit glitchy there. Hey, my Viz destroyed you, and I re-leveled up straight away. Bit of Torn Furto, gotta love it. And then we can actually get rid of a heart right here. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna take this just just to get back my my setup, and we'll carry on. Good stuff. Necro 2. We've actually got a proper map now as well. Ow! What the hell hit me then? What's alive in this room? <laughs> Sometimes that's well confusing. It's really hard to figure out what, what's actually alive. Right, 
try and re-level up Polaris once again. It will take some time to rebuild, but we will get there eventually. Uh, what time are we on? We're actually in time for thingy here, so I will very much grab a fool card so we can go and do a boss rush and steely steely a little item for ourselves. I love stuff like that in Isaac. It's like, it's kind of like, it seems a little bit unintentional, but it's kind of just been baked into the design of the game. Where it's like, if you're, if you have the right equipment to do so, if you have like any sort of teleport, um, and you have like, if you, you're in, in time and remember to do so, you can steal an item. And that's pretty cool. Not many games allow you to do stuff like that. Another level up. I think we max, we're max level again here, aren't we? Yes, I believe we are. Spin down dice? I actually don't know what this will spin down into. Not great. That, however, I'm intrigued by. I'll leave it there for now. I'll try and find my boss first. There's my boss. Do the boss first and full card out so we don't run out of time. We'll come back to that. Stay out of here, you. Ooh, my Brimstone Ghost doing its best. Although the timing on it, not the best. Oh, there was an enemy there that wasn't mine. Thought he was mine. That'll level me up just a bit. Um, We'll take that bad boy. We'll quickly check in here. I don't know why Spoonbender's in here. I'm honestly not sure. Um, I'm going to go for a weird one here. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of arrows. Um, this is a bit of a gamble, but... The amount of fucking arrows. Is it something to do with Polaris why they're automatically firing? If I change over to my other one. No, they still automatically fire. We'll never know. Gone for a weird one here. Soy milk perming Polaris. Seemed interesting to me. Don't know why they were in my devil deal. I, I, I legitimately have absolutely no clue as to what was going on there, but... We'll find out eventually, I guess. Right, there's a secret room. We can quickly go in here. Grab this. There they are, just automatically fire. Maybe that's just a change that happened to the item. There's so many, though. We got greed, but I like greed, but. Old urn. A little bit disappointed with the old urn here. Also kind of disappointing to get greed but in the secret room when it's in the shop. I mean, it just shouldn't be in the shop at all. Whoever decided it was a shop item was an absolute mad lad. It's ridiculous that it's in the shop. I was talking about this in a previous episode with uh, We Starvin when I was having the conversation with them um, a little bit. And uh, on one of my previous episodes as well. Like how just so many mod authors just don't understand item pools whatsoever and it's really frustrating. It's like, I get it, there's more important things to think about when you're making items in terms of like, making sure they're optimized and making sure everything works and stuff, but like, just just try and stay on theme for what the game does in vanilla. Because <laughs> there's so much stuff in the shop pool that just makes no sense whatsoever and it's very frustrating. Not to shit on modders, it just, it is, it is, it is just a bit silly. Didn't really want a full health there, but thanks, I guess. Our range is pretty ludicrous right now. The arrows. I fucking love the arrows. It's so fucking stupid. Walking through a room, I just fire like 18 arrows. And the bar above my head is just so silly as well. We 
got Aubrey. I was just talking about that. I mean, we don't have any time to use Aubrey now, but I was just talking about getting Aubrey. We should have picked up Tony now, shouldn't we? Ooh, I think so. I think so. Trying to fire fire mind and explosive tears on a run where we're firing this many shots. I think that could be quite beneficial. <laughs> I have a feeling they, when they made the UI for this arrow thing, they didn't consider, um, they didn't consider just like how crazy uh, <laughs> it would be in terms of the UI for uh, for, for having soy milk. Turfu, soul of Isaac, that bad boy. We'll take a tumor. Why not? Wonder what level my Polaris is right now. Really? You didn't die to that? Come on now. Don't be a jokester. Don't be kidding me. The damage is undeniable right now, though. I think we have max rank Polaris right now. Just hard to tell with our TSI, TSIs right now. I think I think Polaris' damage bonus is static. As in, like, when you upgrade your levels, it, say, say it adds, like, plus two damage, then plus four damage. It feels like it's just adding that damage regardless of the original damage that your tiers had. Because even with Soy Milk here, we are absolutely murking fools with it. It might just be that, that our Soy Milk setup is very good, but I have a feeling that Polaris' damage is just adding, like, plus four damage onto every Soy Milk tier, which obviously is ludicrous. Because that, that's definitely what it feels like right now. We are doing some insane damage. How'd you get back there? Most rooms are getting very heavily destroyed. Stone chest there, we should probably go and check out. Nice. Okay. Bosses just stand absolutely no chance right now. That's kind of interesting. Shot speed and knockback up is going to be uh, a little wild. Do I have chaos? Where's chaos? I actually think with nine luck, I do want this. Oh my god. Um, didn't seem to do literally anything, which is strange. Although I do seem to have gained a significant amount more arrows. <laughs> this is... Oh, man. <laughs> this is absolutely wild. But yeah, what I might what I might do is I might need to do some, like, theory crafting a little bit with you guys in my Discord about what thumbnail style I should go for um, in terms of crafting something that's got a bit of my personality and will appeal to the YouTube masses. So I'll probably put some, some polls out on my Discord if you guys want to get involved with that and you can kind of pick and choose what fits. I'll probably make, like, three or four various thumbnails um, and see what people think. I'll go for like ultra basic, which is what I kind of did yesterday, uh, or day before, should I say. I'll go for like a little bit more advanced and a little bit more personality, and then I'll go for like my, my bit, basically my thumbnails, but like a little bit turned back, i.e. no Isaac logo and simpler background, which is what I think I'll probably end up resting on. I don't think I want to pull back too much. Realistically, the um, the video I did recently was was completely just an experiment to see how it performed, and it, it did perform much better, so it backed me up in sort of changing things up a bit. Okay, I, th I think that, I think that uh, Loki's horns is making me fire Mortius forward, because I do seem to be firing faster now. I'm, I'm a little confused by... Look at all those arrows. Gimme. <laughs> This is so fucking stupid. I love it. Give me all that chunky XP. This has been a bit of a wild one. We like these runs, baby. We like these runs. Aw, oh, Curse of the Lost, though. 
I just wonder why my uh, my arrows are firing automatically. Like I said, they must have just changed the base items. I never used to do that. It used to be that uh, they'd only fire when you fired. And now they're just kind of machine gun out of me the moment I walk into a room. It's pretty funny. Oh no, 0.4 fire rate. I got plus one damage from that. Oh my god. That's a lot for us right now. <laughs> this just got a whole lot more spicy. Can you guys fucking get over here? Very much completely lost on what I'm doing right now, so... Stay with me. We'll get there. Don't know where I'm supposed to be going here, but it clearly isn't this way. Clearly isn't this way. I have 2020 now, apparently. There's something alive in here, how? Oh my god, how do I keep going the wrong way? I do not know. Hey, we finally found the boss. <laughs> I can just literally go to one side of the room, straight to the other, and back again and keep firing a million arrows at him. <laughs> I think I actually gained more arrows in my bar, by the way, from Dark Prince's crown. Not from, um... Not from Loki's horns. I still don't know why my pools have been all messed up there. Junkin? Luda? I don't think so, Luda. That's a bit cheeky of you. Luda, I think you'll be feeding our friend here. Oof. <laughs> Isaac's heart. I'm sorry. You'll also be feeding my friend here. Junkin, I will I will get you to max rank with my seven luck. Now, I don't know what the hell's going on in this room, but I do not like the look of it. Where's my key? I feel like I need a key. I don't have a key. Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then I can open this bit as well. I see, I see, I see. Was there even any reason to come this way? Not in the slightest. Lodestone, I'm sorry, Junkin. You are my child, but Lodestone is pretty interesting with this setup, to be honest. <laughs> wow. Oh, another item there. Whoa, what the hell's this room? A lot going on here. There's more arrows than there is enemies. Fetch reward. You have been junkened. Got a lot of chests here. You have also been junkened. Come on, my pretty. You're not far off. Only a few more items to go, my lad. Lodestone doing some good stuff there. <laughs> it's sucking all my arrows up there. Oh, uh, fuck it hell. How is there still an enemy in here? Where? Oh, there's a crab underground. I see a shadow. Get out from under the floor, you freak. You know you aren't long for this world. Sorry, little horn fell. You'll be sacrificed, but not in vain. The Junkin will dawn your skull as a tribal hat.
Just a, I think it's two more chests we need. Two more little items to bomb. Oh my god. That was chaos. Absolute chaos. Okay. You, sir, have been removed. Damn you, game. I only need two more chests. Don't do this to my buddy. He's been waiting his entire life for this moment. He needs victory. Football. Junkin will take your football. Yes, we're one away. Why are you not moving? He is here! And Abel will be the final sacrifice. How very fitting. He has become God. Destroyer of men. <laughs> Lodestone plus the arrows. I love the way they just all stack up. Right, it's boss time now, and we've actually cleared most of the floor here as well. So, we should be finding the boss very shortly. We should manage to get our Polaris back up, yeah. So, back up to max rank before we find the boss. Pretty easy. Cool, and our last item is going to be Mustard Seed. Oh, that disables our Dark Prince's crown, though. My bad. That was kind of stupid. That's 11 fire right off the back of it. Not my finest hour. Blobbing bombs in there wherever I can. Loads stones making it work. Keeping in the corners. I think my bombs are also herming. Does, does, does Spoonbender give you herming bombs? I, I don't think I remembered that, if that's the case. I think it does, though. Either way, that's gonna be that's gonna be the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was absolutely chaotic. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.